Alright guys, uh, I'm going to show you how to fix your Steam Punk Buster problems for Call of Duty 4. Okay, uh, here, first things first. If you got Windows Vista or Windows 7, wherever you got, make sure you go to your internet, whatever you got, like Turn Micro Security or Norton. So you type in your security system that you got, uh, Micro... Well, I turned mine off. I didn't delete it, but I turned mine off. So you got to turn off your internet security, and then you go to Steam. Allow Steam. Uh, just wait it for to connect to your Steam. Uh, man, could it take mine any longer? Okay, uh, God, it's still connected. Alright, and then go to Steam. And then go, if, like, you know, get the new Steam. Go to the top left, go to Steam, Settings, uh, you'll see Account, Friends, Interface, yada yada. Uh, hope this doesn't say my, show my password anywhere. Uh, go to Endgame and make sure this is not checked. If it's checked, uncheck it. Okay? So then when your end game Steam won't pop up and Punkbuster won't detect it as a third party hacking system. So you close that and go to your Internet Explorer. Alright, then when you're on your Internet Explorer, go to even snap. Balance.com. Even balance.com. That is where you're going to get your punk was. No. Sorry, guys, I fail. Okay. And this is uh, the punk buster website. You're going to go to Call of Duty 4, obviously. But uh, go to client. Oh, you can't click on that. Yeah, well, just click on Call of Duty 4. Uh, ignore all this. This is just updates and such. Uh, yeah, click on that. Wherever it, wherever it, like, here, I'll go back. I did that too fast. Go, go down, and it should say something in yellow. PB setup. It could be anywhere for you. Just click on PB setup. Uh, go down, and then it'll say your operating system, your version. Then you will click uh, the. Depends what you got. I got Windows 7, so uh, just click for all Windows games. Uh, put that in. It's you don't gotta space it or put capitals. VA. Mine's already updated. Uh, you could open it or save it. I just open stuff because it doesn't matter. Alright. It'll come up as maybe this if you have Windows 7. PB Setup EXE. <clears throat> You're going to agree, of course. Uh, it says it's the first time, but whatever. It's not. I've done it plenty of times before. Uh, go to Add a Game. Go to Call of Duty 4. Uh, add game. And since mine's already updated, it's not going to work. But if if you haven't done this before, it's going to go all the way to the end and say something like your your Call of Duty 4 Punk Buster settings have been updated, something like that. Oh, mine did go through an update. So yeah. Then after you do that, exit out of all this. Exit out of internet, I don't care. And then open up your Call of Duty 4. 
and go to a Punk Buster protected server. All right, then when you're in Call of Duty 4 multiplayer, make sure it's multiplayer. Uh, go to options, game options. Oh no, not that. Multiplayer options. Make sure uh, Punk Buster is on yes. If it's not on yes, you're gonna keep getting kicked and you're gonna be like confused. Uh, allow downloading. I don't know what that does. So like, someone tell me what that does, cause I don't know what that does. So I just had it on yes. Uh, go to a Punk Buster protected server that has an X by the Punk Buster sign, and uh, it doesn't really matter. Just join one. I'll go to my favorite. Oh, I meant to go to Dallas Domination, but whatever. Then you're gonna wait to connect to your server. Unless you get kicked. If you're laggy. Or I might get kicked because it says for low ping people only because I'm running for apps. Okay, yeah, that happened. Uh, I'll go to Dallas Domination. Uh, and when you get in the game and you're kind of teleporting a little bit when you first get in, that is because Punk Buster is running through your uh, system or whatever, just checking to see if you're cheating. So like the first 30 seconds or a minute in your game, you are going to teleport. And you'll see what I mean when I get in game. See, I'm kind of teleporting a little bit. Well. Yeah, you, you're going to teleport like that a lot. Only when you get in, though. Not the whole time. That would suck. So, uh, yeah. That is how you fix your Steam punk buster problems if that didn't work or you have any other ways uh, tell me what it said when you got disconnected and I, I yeah I will I will I'll respond I won't be like some d-bag and just ignore it so yeah see ya bye